Okay, so we're going to talk about how to render your scene out. Um, I got my scene to where the items that you should have finished. Um, I know it looks kind of funny with some uh, pictures that aren't like are floating around. Um, but the whole idea is that we don't have walls. Just place your pictures or posters or whatever. If you want to place a wall, have a wall in there, you sure can. Um, we do want a floor. Okay, the minimal is having a floor. Okay, and then all your objects that are completely textured in your scene. Okay, all ready to go. The lighting that you're that you should have is your um, your sky dome and a directional light. Okay. And so um, when you do a preview render, uh, this is how I've showed you, but we're going to do a final render. So I'll show you the difference between the two. So Arnold has a uh, render view, okay, which is a small little tiny box. And that's not what I want you to render with. This is just a preview to preview your lighting, right? Nothing else, okay? This previews your shadows, your lighting. If it's bright enough, it's, if it's not bright enough, this is what you're going to see, okay? So uh, this is what my scene looks like so far with all the objects you should have. Okay, I've got my table and my chairs in the corner. Okay. So you can see that I've got, this is just a real fast render view, okay? This is not the real, what the render is going to look like, okay? Because it's really blotchy and it's really hard to see. So let's not use this. This is just to get your lighting down. And so what I want you to do, okay, for all your objects is to not use that. So I'm going to show you, let's get your scene framed, okay? All right. Something like that needs to be framed. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into render settings, okay? Render settings. It's this little guy right here. Render settings. You can also find it under Windows, Render Editors, and Render Settings. You can find it there as well. So I'm going to click on that, and this opens up the Arnold Renderer. If you don't see Arnold in here, if you see Maya Software, make sure you click on the arrow and you see Arnold there. If you don't see Arnold there, you'll have to use the Plugin Manager. Okay. Where do you go to find that? Then you go to Windows, Settings Preferences, and Plugin Manager. And in here, you will have to find Arnold, and you'll have to click on Loaded and Auto Load. You have to find it first. Okay? So Arnold, and if you can't find it, just basically auto load everything. You can just click on Auto Load for the whole thing and just just do that for every single thing and you'll eventually get it okay I don't want to take the time to try to find it so anyway just auto load everything so apply to all auto load and that will load everything okay and then click on refresh and then close and then you should be able to go back to render settings and go and find Arnold renderer okay so that's perfect all right great so in Arnold Renderer, under here, when we do a final render with Arnold, we want to go between 5 and 6 for the camera AA. This is the quality settings. Right now, uh, Arnold will look like this. Okay, This is what Arnold will look like in default. That means your render might be grainy, it might be a little bit uh, blurry, so if you want a nice render, you can set it up to something around 5 or 6. Now this will make the render take longer, but it will look nicer. So let me do that. Let's go 5 on here, and let's go to 3 on the rest of these. Okay? The SSS means subsurface scattering, and we're not going to worry about that one. If we, had, if we were like rendering skin or something like that, then we would want to have that raised. But right now, we're just going to go 3 on Transmission, 3 on Specular, 3 on Diffuse, and 5 on Camera AA. Now, if you want to see what an object looks like without the, the length of time to render or your lighting, then you want to click on 3 for that. But your final render will be 5. So 5, 
three, three, three. Now your ray depth, under ray depth, you want to make sure your total is 12, your diffuse is three, your specular is two, your transmission is 10, and your transparency depth is 12. If you have glass on top of glass on top of glass, we've talked about that, then your, your transmission will have to be 12, your transparency depth will have to be 14 to 16, and your total will have to be 14 and 16. That's if you have glass behind glass behind glass. Okay? Right now I don't have that. I have 12, 3, 2, 10, and 12. All right, under the Comments tab, this is where we can set up resolution. So scroll all the way down and make sure that you have your perspective camera that you want to look through set up right. So I'm going to set, I've got two perspective cameras, one's perspective one, and that's what I'm looking through. You can see at the bottom. It will tell you what camera you're looking through. All right, our preset we want HD 720. This is how we find it. So HD 720. Okay, you're all set. So what will this look like? Well, I don't know yet because we need to make sure we set some stuff up. We need to set up a resolution gate. You can see where I'm at, resolution gate. You click on it. And this is basically tells you exactly what's going to be rendered. Well, we got some stuff missing. There we go. So I want to kind of see my scene. So I'm going to render two uh, shots, one from this angle, okay, and then one from this angle, okay? So that way I can get all my stuff in. So here's my first angle, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Render. And this is the button you click for a full render. Again, this may seem, take some time for it to render because we have the resolution uh, pretty high. Now, I, I've used the same lighting, um, and I pulled the lighting into this scene. I used the same lighting as we used for the wine bottle. So if you're not sure how to set up your um, lighting, then you can watch the video on CG Patrol on lighting the wine bottle or lighting a scene, okay? So as this goes through, you can see that in this area here, you can see that's glass, but it's turned white. That's normal because the background color is white, okay? If I were to have a wall there, then you would see transparency through to the uh, color of the, the wall. So right now it's seeing white, that's okay. So if you see glass that turns white, if it's by itself, doesn't have anything around it, it will, it will turn white and that's okay. I'm not going to grade you down on that because it's got nothing to show behind it. There's nothing behind it. So it's seeing what's behind it, and that's the whiteness of the sky dome. Okay? That's normal. So there's my full render. It didn't, turn, it didn't take too long. It was 1 minute 39 seconds. And what I want to do is I want to click on File and Save Image and go into the Option box. This is, this is very critical. Because the raw image, if you bring, if you actually were to save it right now, uh, the raw image is a very dark render, okay? And you have to go into gamma correction and, and do a bunch of stuff. So what we want to click on is color managed view and click apply and close. So we won't have to worry about that anymore. So now I'm going to go into file, save image as, okay? And we got it set up, so we just go to File, Save Image. So now in here, uh, we want to make sure under Files of Type, we go down to JPEG, since that's what I want you to turn in. If you forget to do that, it's going to do an alias pix, which I can't read. I don't know 
uh, actually what will open that up. So JPEG is where, where you want to be. So and then you want to put your first name, last name, um, maybe exercise three, and then what what am I seeing? Um, uh, room, to say room uh, full as zero one. And if I want to show more than just one uh, side of that, I can rotate around. Let's go ahead and close that and rotate around into the other view that I, sh I said I was going to do uh, because I want to see the other picture, maybe see some other things in here. And I'm going to do another render. Okay, this will take another minute or so. So basically, um, that's how you can render in full resolution in HD 720. Um, and then once this renders, then you're going to go in and render each object separately so I can get a nice view. So what you can do is you can continue going around the room um, as it's set up, just like this. And you can kill two birds with one stone with the lamp and the lamp table. I'll do that for you real quick and just kind of focus on that area. If you can do the same with the TV and the TV stand. You can do the same thing with a book. Um, and if you have any vases in the, in the book, in the, where the bookshelf is. So I'll, I'll take you through that real quick. I'll do one rendering, give you an idea of what I'm doing. And then from there on, you, should guys, you guys should be good to go. Make sure your renders aren't too dark. Now, if they are too dark, you can always go into Photoshop and finesse those renderings for me. Uh, so I can uh, so they're not too dark but this is this is turning out nice I'm okay with this uh, we're getting some shadows as you can see in this area here we got shadows so that's what I want to see I want to see some shadows in there they, they don't have to be really dark okay okay there's my second render now notice that I don't have to go in here anymore. I can just click on save image um, and let's see, what did I call it there? I got a lot of renders in here. So I'll just call it uh, J Byers exercise uh, 03 and this will be uh, room two. Okay, and now we're going to do individual objects. Okay, when that's done, I'm going to zoom in here. I'll just show you what I'm looking for. Just kind of isolate it if you can, as close, get as close as you can. Again, uh, center it. Okay, don't crop it. Don't give me something like that. Make sure that you have your um, the uh, resolution gate on, and then you can render. So there's going to be a render here. I'll, I'll isolate it a little bit more, kind of give you an idea what I'm talking about here. And I can render that. So that's good. That way I can see things. If, if it's too far away, it's very difficult to see your textures and it's very difficult to see your object. I'm just going to do this one render and you guys get the idea. So I can't go over 15 minutes, otherwise it won't go, it won't go on. And this also allows me to see your glass, how it turned out. And you can see my lamp. I, I finessed and, you know, I added more edge loops to my lamp and made that look more um, close to the reference like I gave you. The lampshade, I, I took uh, te texturing liberty on the lampshade. I wanted something different. And um, so I, I added something different. And you can do the same thing with your stuff with your, with your uh, decor. If you wanted to make the stand gold instead of silver, if your reference looks like it's silver or, and you want it to be gold or vice versa, you can do that. You can take liberties into creating whatever shader you want for that particular object. Okay? The modeling has to be pretty close to what the reference is. Okay. So when, when this is done, then I, I, I kill two birds with one stone. I've got basically the lamp and the lampshade. Um, and um, that's in full frame. And then um, I'll count those two. And then, of course, the vase, I can't count. It's too far away to see, um, even though it looks good. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in on that and and just I'm not gonna render it because that will take too much time. Okay, great. All right, so I'm going to stop the the cam.